Uh, and I'm going to acknowledge up front this may be one of the most excruciatingly boring bills that I've ever introduced, which is no small observation. Uh, that being said, I would like to argue that it may also be one of the most important because it deals with the issue of educational data, uh, data which we have discussed uh, repeatedly at this table as being uh, largely unavailable. Uh, we have pockets of data scattered hither, thither, and yon, not simply at the Department of Education, but in other venues as well. We certainly have higher education data that's its own. We've got data off at the foster youth program, the prison system, uh, employment, development, all those places. And what we need is a coherent process and a body to provide some supervision of that coherent process to pull this stuff together so that we can make use of disparate data in the aggregate and so that we can look from year to year to year to year so that there's longitudinal use to it. Uh, Mr. Chairman, there's money here. It's a suspense candidate. I get that. You have been kind enough to comment in the past that this may be the one area where we ought to uh, spend a little dough this year so that we can save big dough in subsequent years or know that the money we're spending is at least well used given the limitations. That has certainly been uh, the view that was shared by everything from getting down to facts, students first, closing the achievement gap, and half a dozen newspapers around the state. Um, I think I will um, just close by saying I have, I'm under no illusions that this is the end of this conversation. Uh, I think in many ways we're still at the beginning of this conversation, but people have been pretty good about trying to come together. We finally have some consensus around the need, and I think this will be an important step if we can find the resources in this very difficult year. My thanks to you, Senator Weiland, who's not here, has been very good about understanding the importance, and of course to Mr. Steinberg, who's been a joint author on this from the very first day.